all right guys so i've got you guys all set up like all my coffee mugs and stuff up here um i've tried to do this twice now and the phone keeps falling so hopefully it will not fall last night i went out to dinner and i actually tried to film um like a reel for what i got when i went out to dinner i don't know i don't know what i did but it did not work out so anyways um so today i wanted to show you guys um a thrive haul that i picked up that I picked up that I ordered from Thrive Market. So I used to have a Thrive Market membership. Um, I recently just renewed this after quite some time. So we'll see how all this stuff is because I haven't ordered anything from Thrive for quite some time. Um, just because I like to go into the grocery stores. Um, but sometimes I think it's silly because to go into some of the specialty grocery stores like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, I mean, it's like a 30 minute drive from where I live. So that's kind of silly. Um, so I do like Thrive for that. Or if, you know, you live somewhere where there's, it's not even that close, you know? Um, and they do have good deals. Sometimes I can find stuff at Thrive, um, cheaper than I can find it like at my local grocery store, which is Publix. Um, and sometimes they don't even carry some of these products. So I do like that. But the main reason why I renew my subscription to Thrive is because I like to incorporate um, seafood into my diet, especially obviously with eating a low carb, you can eat seafood. And the seafood vendor that I used to buy from at the market is no longer there. So I remembered that Thrive has really good seafood and meats. And I also thought it would be cool for some of you to see who have commented in my videos about how neat it is, like the farm that I go to to get my meat and how you wish you had something closer. And you know, I'm super passionate about supporting small farms and farmers. Um, so I thought, you know, Thrive Market also does that. So I thought it would be cool for you guys to see some of the stuff that you can get meat wise. Um, so let's open these boxes up. I'll stop talking about all that stuff. Sorry, I'm on like, normally I only have two coffees a day. I'm having coffee number three today with my favorite snack, the Trader Joe's peanut butter, my little treat with my coffee. Um, I normally only have two coffees a day, but I did not wake up so hot this morning. And I think it's because where we ate last night, I'm pretty sure that they use like table salt and stuff in their meats and it hit me hard because we don't normally have stuff like that anymore. Um, I just use Redmond's Real Salt, which I got in my Thrive Market haul here. Um, and I really felt that salt this morning when I, w I was bloated, um, like in my face, I was tired. It really kicked my butt. So I guess I gotta be careful of that. So speaking of salt, it's one of the things I got from Thrive. If you've not tried the Redmond's Real Salt, this salt is great, it's good for you. Um, do your own research, check it out. But I use this pretty much in everything at home anymore. I even sometimes in my um, water, I'll put a little bit um, with my Ultima Hydration. This is fabulous. So I picked that up at Thrive. I also grabbed some collagen peptides, they were on sale. I've not tried Primal Kitchen. Um, if you saw, I typically, I was doing this one, um, and the Marine, which I like too, the orange one of the Garden of Life. And then I started taking the Ancestral Living Collagen, but I already said in a previous video that was like upsetting my stomach. I'm not sure why. So I passed that on to my mom to use because it didn't seem to bother her. So hopefully it's still not bothering you, mom, if you're watching this. Um, but anyways, I'm going to try the Primal Kitchen. They did not have the Garden of Life, so... I figured why not, it was on sale and I love all kinds of like Primal Kitchen products. So I figured I'd give it a try. Speaking of Primal Kitchen, I also picked up the Buffalo sauce. So this is great if you're making chicken wings, if you wanna do like a um, chicken, like a Buffalo chicken dip. I love the Primal Kitchen blue or Buffalo sauce. I think I also got the Primal Kitchen Golden Barbecue Sauce, which is, yep, that's what this is. Um, this is my favorite barbecue sauce. I'm not a person who puts like barbecue sauce on my food after it's cooked, but I do like to cook sometimes ribs or chicken in um, a barbecue sauce. So this Golden Barbecue Sauce by Primal Kitchen, the best. I mean, it's, it's good, it's good stuff. And I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is a free gift. So Thrive does uh, free gifts, which is pretty cool. Um, and I don't know if they try to gear your free gift towards the way that you eat, like the foods you normally picked out, because that's usually what happens for me, and I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or what have you, but 
This was a free gift, Primal Kitchen. It's the avocado oil ranch dressing. I have not tried this, but I love ranch, so we'll see. I think that's everything in this box. Yes. All right, I just stopped that because my phone was tilting again. I think I need to get a better tripod. I have a tripod, but it, it sucks. And I find that I do better just propping my phone up, except in this situation, obviously. All right, so this is the meat that I ordered from Thrive. Now, when I used to order meat from Thrive, this was before I found, this was a long time ago. This was before I found like local, a local meat market and stuff like that. Um, so it's been a while and it never took me this long to get a box. Like I think, I could be wrong, but I think this shipped on Saturday. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong day, but today's Wednesday and I'm just getting this. So let's, let's see how this is. So they definitely pack it in, you know, cold packs and I could feel the box is cold. So that's a good sign. Um, oh yeah. I throw this in my sink because Bella's down there and she'll start licking it oh yeah oh it's still frozen I'm impressed I'm impressed I know this has been shipped for at least at least three days because I was concerned about that but I think like I said I think it shipped on Saturday wow okay all right it's still frozen so for myself for seafood yellowfin tuna Primarily what, you, what you're going to see in any of my Thrive hauls is probably going to be fish because it's just foolish of me to buy this stuff on Thrive for me personally because the farm that I go to does a lot of buy one get ones and you save a lot of money like that. But if I wanted to support local farmers and I did not have any farms near me or I didn't have access to this, this is a great way to um, still support small farmers because they do, you know, buy from smaller farms, they do sustainable fishing. Um, that kind of stuff so that's great so i got the yellowfin tuna or yeah yellowfin tuna um oh i got these ribeyes now these i believe were 49 dollars a piece they do bundles um but i will say if they're not buy one get one at the farm that i go to that's about what i pay for a ribeye if i'm not getting it on sale i usually get it on sale i'm not sure how this compares to grocery store prices um from what I understand, meat at grocery store is pretty expensive right now anyways. So, um, like I said, they do do bundles though. You can do meat bundles and they have sales and stuff like that. So I picked up two of these ribeyes for us to have. Um, we're going to be eating a lot more meat coming soon. I'm going to tell you guys in a video I'm doing this weekend what we're doing with our diet, but we're changing it up a little bit. I bet you probably already know what I'm talking about. All right, so I also picked up two bacons. I did this in a bundle. These were 17 for two for 17. Um, this is a different farm than I got the bacon from a long time ago when I had my Thrive account, but I've heard a lot of people talking about this farm Peterson's. Um, their bacon was very good when I ordered it, you know, years ago or whatever, but, um, I do see people on YouTube. Um, I think it's Ken Barry's wife. If you follow her, um, Misha, I think her name is, I don't remember, but she uses this bacon and says it's really good. So we'll see, see how it compares to the bacon that I normally get. I also picked up scallops, just a bag of sea scallops. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them yet, but sometimes it's nice to have something different, you know, when you're eating this much meat. And I also picked up some ribs. Their ribs are so good. Again, I can't speak for lately. I shouldn't say that because they might use a different farmer now. But when I used to get them from Thrive, they were delicious. I would pair them with the golden barbecue sauce. That was yummy. Very, very yummy. All right, guys. So that is everything that I got from Thrive. I'm, I am very impressed that this meat is still, I mean, it is like throw it back in the freezer, totally um, frozen. I don't know about you, but I don't like to refreeze my meat after it's been thawed. So I was concerned about that, especially with the seafood, but this is very much frozen so that's awesome all right so i will link um thrive down below if you guys are interested in thrive market um like i said i i think it's a great resource it does have the yearly um subscription fee that is one thing that kind of sucks i think it's 60 dollars a year or you can pay like by the month to make it a little cheaper 
Um, but go in there and browse and see if there's stuff on there that you would order and then check out the meat prices and see how they compare to like what you normally buy in the grocery store and maybe it's more affordable for you to buy from Thrive or you know from a small farm and I don't want anyone to think like if you if you can't you know if this is not sustainable for you to buy meat from farmers and it's better and do what you you know do what you do I mean no shame in that at all if you can only afford to buy meat from the grocery store, buy meat from the grocery store. Um, you know, maybe you're supporting local farms by going to just a produce stand or buying tomatoes from the guy who sells them every Friday in the back of his truck off, you know, a side road you live on. I don't know. Um, support, you know, your local farms in any way you can support them. That's all I'm saying. I just think that's a really cool thing to do. And um, yeah, I'm gonna quit blabbing now. I've had to. I've had too much coffee, you guys. So anyways, all right. Um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.